Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to Half Fast 719. Sorry if my face is dirty, but I've been working on Drunken Ram. That's its name, because it's all over the road. So, today we went, dropped oil off, uh, recycled oil. I went and ordered a five gallon jug of gear oil. Um, I can't remember. Oh, and a Panhard bar, a Moog Panhard bar, or a track bar, as you could call it, I guess. So, let me show you uh, what all the uh, noise that I thought was wheel bearings was. So, I got it all apart. Got the axles out. These are supposed to be Carly ball joints. Whatever. Not that impressed. Um, this U-joint that's over here, I'll show you in a little bit. That U-joint is bad. I'm gonna have to go hopefully they have one. If not, uh should have all this done today if the gears and or the bearings and everything are good. So let me get down here and show you what actually caused all this. I'm just assuming what caused it all. So as you can see I don't have nothing in there. So here we go. This is the breather hose. The breather hose is all cut and torn. I'm assuming it was riding on uh, that piece that's in over there. That piece, that piece goes in here. Then the drive shaft, drive shaft connects to it. So I gotta splice this hose and uh, somehow mount it so it's not rubbing on the drive shaft itself. So, I'm assuming that's what caused it. It probably sucked in water. Being the truck is from Arizona, uh, they get a lot of flooding. So, made me some brake, uh, brake holders finally. Brake caliper holders. So, anyway. Um, so, I got it all apart. It took me about 45 minutes, an hour, to get it all apart. So I took out all the races, uh, the pinion races, um, it's actually not too bad. So let's go for the axle. So this little short one is bad and it looks like it's a replacement because it's got a zerk fitting, whereas this other one doesn't have a zerk fitting. So I don't know if you can see that or not. Anyway, we got play in there. Um, I don't know what brand that is, but this side's good. So, everything looks good. There's no wear marks to anything. Um, I got the brake hanger, caliper hanger over there. Um, I did change the oil on it. I always change it when it's hot, so I changed it right up front. So anyway, let's uh, get to let's get to the noise. So this is the pinion. So this is where the drive shaft, the yoke, whatever connects to. So this bearing shot, 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 shot. So it's all pitted. Hopefully you can see all that all pitting so that one goes like that comes off here's the race clean the race a little bit so you could see pitting pitting's all right there so and then we got this race I don't think this one was too bad the bearing didn't look too bad so race isn't too bad doesn't mean I'm not gonna change it the bearing I didn't see I didn't see any pitting on this bearing but like I said I'm still gonna change it all so and then you got your little collar thing right here goes on there I'm gonna take all these bearings and everything in uh, to where I bought them from, bought the whole set, 
And uh, here you go. Here's the big one. The big issue. Let me clean this. Race. So these are all Temkin, and that's what I ordered was Temkin. So it's not the bearings problem. It's not the bearings fault. It's moisture that I'm sure got in there. So you see all that. So the top is good. This was on the bottom. So this is the carrier. So pretty bad. This is all the. It's pretty badly pitted too. Um, as you could see. So this bearing is definitely shot. Um, let's see what that go on there. That will not go on there. Okay, good. So I kind of can't, kind of can't mess it up. So, oh, she's it's pretty heavy. Pretty heavy. Um, yeah, and then I got a bunch of metal shavings in there. So, uh, yeah, um, I did order, like I said, I ordered a five gallon jug of synthetic gear oil. And I have some additive. This one's not that bad. This bearing's this bearing just looks a little cooked. So, but it doesn't look too bad. So anyway, so now I gotta go and uh, try to get these off. So, um, but yeah, that's that's the problem. Check your uh, breather lines, breather hoses. Make sure there's no tears, cracks in them, because um, that will cause you some damage. Um, I gotta call them, O'Reilly or AutoZone, and see if they got a U-joint for this so I can do the U-joint while it's out. So, anyway guys, uh, let me do all this, let me get bearings, let me get all the other stuff, and, uh, yeah, and then, uh, we'll do a track bar too. So, might as well. Alright guys, so stay tuned, I'll be right back. Alright guys, we got new bearings here. So these are the old bearings. So if you can see the number, all the numbers match. So, cause this is, these are all Timken bearings. So you can see Timken, that's this one. So we got all numbers matching bearings. So kind of scared me because I thought there was two of the same size. Ended up being, I guess there's three uh, maybe not. Maybe there are two different sizes, but this one and this one are the same size. This one's bigger. And then we got the pinion one. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some bearings. I'm going to put the bearings on the carrier that I have over there in a bag, which are these two here. And then this is for the pinion. That's a crush, the little thingy. Basically the stopper to stop you from over tightening it. And then we have a new nut and a new seal. So I gotta see if that seal is even the right seal. Which I didn't bring the seal with me. But as you can see, we have that. So it looks a little little bit uh, thinner I don't know. or a little bit thicker I should say a little bit wider so um, yeah so basically um, I'll put this in there and then uh, you tighten it to there and then you'll want to crush it a little bit more uh, but yeah so Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and throw all this on, uh, the carrier, carrier bearings, and the seal, get that seal in there, and uh, figure all this out, I guess. So, anyway, I'll do it all off camera. I kind of want to get the truck done. I'm going to drive it. I don't know if it's going to happen today. I mean, I'll, I'll get stuff together, but I don't know if it's going to happen at driving today. So, anyway, guys, so I'll be back. Once I get all the bearings and races and all them pressed in and stuff, so stay tuned. Morning, guys. Anyway, it is 
Saturday morning. Turned out to be a four day project. So, as you can see, the truck is on the ground. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a pain in the butt. I don't think I ever want to do a axle bearings again or carrier bearings. Whatever you want to call them. Due to the simple fact that that whole crush spacer uh, deal is kind of a pain in the butt to get the pinion set right and uh, the backlash for the carrier um, that wasn't that bad um, but after I snugged everything down then it felt a lot, a lot looser so anyway I'll go for a quick little drive a little drive, Sally drive in the truck to see how it to see how the drunken ram is see if it sways all over the road still and if it I'm just checking the wheel offset seeing if that track bar pushed it looks fine the wheels turned but um, I did change the rear diff Rear diff fluids changed too. <clears throat> that was actually good. Um, uh, yeah, cool little pump thing I made. Basically, this five gallon drum, I screwed the lid down with a bunch of drywall screws, stuck a hose down in there, and then really don't want to get dirty, but there's a valve stem. And uh, basically charged that with air. It pressurized and then shot all the fluid out. Uh, out into the diff. So it turned uh, 40 minutes of pumping into about, I don't know, a minute and a half. So let's get in here in the beast. Um, yeah, that's what I was going to say too. There's a guy on YouTube. That's so weird. He's called like Project Beast or Beast Projects. Um, if you want to watch like a differential install or whatever, he's he took his truck to a shop and uh, yeah, he took his tr truck to a shop and there's a three part video of it. He did the new ring and pinion, different gear ratio and stuff and. Uh, yeah, steering. Steering feels a lot better already. Um, before the whole the whole truck would shift. Now it's just rocking back and forth. So let's go see what her do. Doodly do. Take you guys for a little ride. This is gonna be a long video. I kind of want to cut a bunch of it out because it's a lot of useless information a lot of tedious junk that I'm not using I gotta cut these trees um but yeah so we'll go ahead and drive the truck um we gotta go into town so I'm kinda just doing like a little test run seeing what her sounds like before like five miles an hour it start making a grinding noise like a you know skateboard bearing like, like skateboards <laughs> best way I can describe it um, so yeah let's go see <laughs> so look at my steering wheel um, I Couple of the seatbelt. Steering wheel is way off. But yeah, it sounds already sounds a lot better. I just hope I got all the backlash and everything all in there good. 
so I'm gonna go down I'll go home and I'll adjust the steering I'll pull the truck in straight and uh, with the uh, man I can't remember you got the <laughs> trailing arm I guess I don't know whatever the one that comes off the pit uh, pitman arm that one is adjustable so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get home and adjust that so I don't know it sounds a lot better a lot a lot better and it's a lot more solid rigid steering's a lot better so yeah I'm thinking that was the fix what was the track bar track bar pan hard bar whatever you want to call it um, I think that's the fix guys so I just hear the fan on I don't really hear any grinding noise before you hear the grinding noise like down in here you hear a from down there and uh, I don't hear anything I so hope, I so hope it's good, because I checked it with the paste, I checked it with everything, I was watching 50 something videos on YouTube, and the best video I found was that uh, Project Beast, or Beast Projects, um, when he had his gears and everything done on his black ramp. Um, that was like the best video I, I saw with those guys explaining everything and showing everything and they took everything apart like 30 times. I don't have the luxury of taking it apart 30 times. Um, so I just did everything super slow, torqued everything down super slow. But yeah, a truck, before I, there's no way I'd be able to let my hand off the steering wheel. Absolutely no way. So, exhaust break. So, yeah, so sounds good. I don't know. I think if it goes, if the bearings go again. Trying to hear. Let's see, let me get some speed and coast. Coast. Let's see. Yeah, I don't hear nothing. I think we're good, guys. All right, good job, me, me, this guy over here. I think it's good. If not, like I said, I'm gonna take it to a shop and have them do it because I'm not doing that again. <clears throat> it took it took three or four days to do it only because I couldn't get the parts. So I couldn't get the parts and yeah, it was just it was just a nightmare that it was because of holidays. So it's nobody's fault. It's the holidays fault. So yay holidays. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I'm coming in. Coming home. I'm going to adjust that. i got to pull in straight as I can so I can offset this. Oh, my antenna's loose. So i got to offset the steering wheel. So I'm going to pull in as straight as I can. Okay. Um, actually, I'm going to park back here because it's all greasy and dirty and I don't feel like getting nasty. So, alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I'm not going to adjust it on video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment. Sorry for the long videos, but it is what it is. And the drunken ram is not drunk no more. Thanks for watching. Later.